This is a hardware overview of our KFX series one channel relay controller. Uh, this is a ProXR light relay controller with a KFX module installed. We have many communication module options including USB, RS-232, Bluetooth, and, and many other technologies available. But this particular version has got the KFX module installed. So this allows us to control the onboard relay uh, with uh, any of these remote controls. Um, we have a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, and an 8 button remote. These remotes uh, have the ability to control this board from 750 feet away. Uh, we also have a long range remote. This is a 1,000 foot 8 button remote. Um, up to 40 remotes can be paired to the KFX module. Uh, every single one of these remotes will do exactly the same thing, so it's not possible to have different remotes do different things with this controller. Um, every single uh, button on any of these remotes uh, has the ability to generate two events in the KFX module. For instance, if I push the button down, I, I will trigger an event, and when I release the button, I will trigger an event. And in this case, I'm gonna demonstrate some of these events to you with this long range module. Um, uh, first of all, button one is set to turn a relay on. And when I push it, the relay comes on. Uh, button two is configured to turn the relay off. Uh, button three is configured for momentary. So as long as I hold the button down, the relay will stay on. Uh, button four is a toggle function. So every time I push it, it will toggle the relay. Um, I can activate the relay for five seconds by pushing button five, and after five seconds has elapsed, the relay will automatically shut off. Uh, button six is a momentary flasher, and as long as I hold this down, the relay will flash, and when I release it, it'll stop flashing. Uh, button seven activates the flasher for seven seconds, and after seven seconds has elapsed, the relay will stop flashing. And uh, re uh, button eight is just a set up as a momentary, but you could configure it to do anything you want. In fact, you have the ability to configure any button to do anything you want with the, the KFX series controllers. So you can define each of these buttons to, to work the way you need them to work. Now, to, to configure these the KFX module, it's important to understand that the KFX module is a computer all by itself and the relay board is a computer all by itself. So the KFX module sends commands to the relay board and uh, for the, the relay board has the ability to process those commands, whatever commands are programmed into the KFX module. So to configure the KFX module for different functions, uh, in other words, to assign different features to, the, to this remote, we first have to remove the KFX module from the controller and then go in and configure the KFX module. So first we're going to start by removing the KFX module from this controller. Okay, the first thing we want to do is install the KFX module into the Zigbo configuration adapter. So we just plug it in like that, the light comes on, and we are ready to run Base Station. So here, let me bring Base Station into view. Um, Base Station is the software that we use for just about everything. Uh, you can use it to control relays on a ProXR board, or in this case, though, we're going to use it to configure the KFX module to send commands to the ProXR controller to do whatever it is we want to do. So I open up the KFX series control panel, and the, the software begins reading all the settings out of the controller. And here we can see all the different events. So like um, button one, it's got a press event, it's got a release event. Button two has a press event and a release event. And in this is pretty much the same for all of the buttons. All of them have different events. The, the first up and down arrow lets you control how many bytes you want to send to the controller. And these are the actual bytes of data we're going to send. So in other words, if we press button one, we're going to send three bytes of data and the bytes are going to equal 254, 108, 1. 
254-108-1 is the command we use to activate a relay. Uh, 254-101 is the command that we use to deactivate a relay. And note that whenever I release these buttons, I don't want to do anything, so I set the values to zero. Similarly, uh, button three is configured as a momentary, so when I press it, I activate the relay, and when I release it, I deactivate the relay. And button four uh, was set up as a toggle function, so every time I activate or press button four on the key fob, I can actually toggle the, the relay by sending these commands. Now, all of these configuration settings are pretty much set up to, conf to control relay one, as you saw in, in uh, the demo that we did. You can change the relay that you want to talk to by changing these configuration settings. Um, another thing to keep in mind is that KFX actually works with uh, other hardware rather than just our products. You can send raw serial data out the port and, and send these bytes to any device that, that happens to accept uh, bytes of data. However, if you're working with our product line, you want to keep it on NCD API as this is the best way to, um, to send data to our controllers. Once you're finished with your settings, you just simply store the configuration in the controller and after a few moments, the controller will be configured for your settings and you're ready to take the module, the KFX module out of the Zigmo and put it back into your relay controller and try out your new settings. If you have any questions, let us know. We'll be glad to show you some other configuration uh, options if, if you need them and uh, just feel free to send us an email or get in contact with us in some way and we'll be glad to help you out. Thank you.